Welcome this evening. We'd like to open our concert by paying tribute to this great country of ours. Would you please stand and honor this country by singing My Country Tis of Thee.
explain how I teach some of the methods that I use to teach because when you play a musical instrument, there is a whole bunch that's going on in, in your brain. I mean, you are using all parts of your brain. You're using reading, you're using hearing, you're using eye-hand coordination, you're using eye-tongue coordination, you're reading a foreign language. I mean, there is a whole bunch that's going on. There have been studies where they have hooked up electrodes to the brain and they have measured brain waves of, of people playing musical instruments and their brain literally lights up in all areas. And it's, it's, it's very complex and it takes them a while. So I use a three-step procedure and I want to demonstrate that. Now we have not played this for a long time. We might have played it at the beginning of the school year, but they have not played this song for quite a while. So there might be some mistakes, but it's okay. All right. One, by the way, one of the most difficult things that I have to teach is that it's okay for them to make mistakes. What I tell them is if they're going to screw up, they got to screw up really big and really loud. Okay. No, not such a thing as, as, a, as a small mistake. You got to make a big one. So, I want to demonstrate the process that we go through for learning a new piece of music. Now, I want you to go to number 13. And if you will look on the back of your program, okay, I'm going to take you through this. One of the things about reading music, when you read words, when you read, like, literature, your eyes go from left to right. And the same thing is true with music. But not only do your eyes go left to right, but while they're going left to right, they also have to go up and down. And if you look at these notes, and I'm, when I say notes, I'm talking about the black beads. They are either on a line or on a space. And the kids have to recognize that very quickly. They have to recognize if it's a line note or a space note. So I can check to make sure that they're reading what we do is we go through and we say lines and spaces. So this is what, this is how we approach a piece of music. So you follow along, don't look at them, look at your music, and I want you to try and see if you can read the lines and the spaces that they're saying. Ready? Number 13. Got it? Say them loud. One, two, three. Good. Lines, space, lines, space, lines, lines, lines. Well, I have to learn to follow directions. Look at the very end. You see the two lines and the two dots? Those two dots mean do it again. It's a repeat sign. So they have to go clear back to the beginning and do what they just did again. Okay? So not only reading, but they have to learn to follow directions by what they see. So, step two. Now, what you see in front of you are note names. This is the trumpet part, by the way, that you're looking at. You're going to see the note names, and you're going to see where those notes are on the staff, and you're going to see what the trumpets have to push to play those notes. So there's, there's kind of three things that happen all at the same time. So the next step that I have them do is they have to say the name of the note, and they have to do the fingering. Now here's the catch. All of the instruments are different. The na names of the notes for the saxophone are different than the names of the notes for the trumpets, are different for the names of the flutes, are different for the names of the lower. So everybody's got their own thing, okay? So I don't do this together because it would sound like, hey, well, this is going to sound like chaos anyway. But I let them do this on their own so they can do this at their own speed. So the next step is uh, to say the names of the notes and do the fingerings that it takes to play those pitches. So, names of notes and fingerings. Go. Wow. <laughs> And I 
tell them if they get done, go back and do it again. You can never read too much. So I kind of cut them off so we can move this along. Now, the third step, now we have to feel what it feels like in their mouth. Because they can't say the name of the note. What they have to do is they have to articulate that note. So they are reading. They have to know the, the fingering for that pitch. And then they have to articulate that note with their tongue. So they have to move their tongue and their fingers at the same time while they're reading the notes. You can see how complex this is getting. So the next step is we sing doing the fingers. Now, it's not going to sound like what the song is. All I'm listening for is the tongue. I'm just listening to see if they are using their tongue correctly. So, they're going to sing through their instruments, they're going to do the fingerings, and they're going to read this. Here we go. Ready? Sing it loud through your horn.
Um, I'll bet when you came in and saw this program, you probably thought you were going to be here until 10 o'clock, didn't you? <laughs> no, no. We're, we're ripping right through this. Um, the next song is Lightly Rope. And again, it's just a longer song. It takes some nerves to play. <laughs>
Uh, our sixth grade teachers, I would like to mention Chelsea Kraft, uh, Emily Schnorr, and I left out Abby Burnett. So I, I, I'm sorry, Bennett, Abby Bennett. So no wonder I left her out. Huh? Um, so yeah, Abby Bennett. So I would like to thank the sixth grade teachers for um, allowing me to steal their kids. And yeah, please. now for 27 years, um, and I will tell you that this school corporation is extremely fortunate to have the administrators that we have, our superintendent, assistant superintendent, all of the principals um, I've come to know very well, and we are very fortunate to have the administration that we've got that makes the decisions that keeps the school corporation on course. Um, and, and just to show you the support, um, Mr. Andy Ogle, uh, assistant uh, principal back here, wait so they can see you doing great well. uh, And Mr. Michael Wagner, uh, principal here. Uh, and, uh, I just want to say that I, I, I really appreciate your support for, for the artists because so thank you very much. Now, the last two songs that we're going to play for you have absolutely no educational value to them whatsoever. They are, hey, who cares? Um, we're going to play it loud. We're going to play it probably way out of tune. Um, it might not be quite in tempo, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's, that's all that counts. So, the last two.
So please come forward if you'd like to take pictures.